A subscriber asked me, how do I use E in French? Well, today I'm going to answer that question. I'm also going to give you a few pointers on where it's placed in the sentence. In case you don't know me, my name is Rochelle DeMeo, your native instructor from Valtier Academy. teaching middle school and high school than teaching university level for nine years, the truth is that that little pronoun, that little E, can be such a pain in the butt. And you usually learn it at a French 201 level if you're in college. Uh -huh. But how do you we use it? What the heck does it even mean? That Y that's actually pronounced E? Well, you're going to find out and you're going to know where to put it in the sentence. So it's used in two different ways. The first way is to replace a place. Nice. So you would use it when you're trying to say there. So your first sentence, you were talking about a place. And then instead of saying that same place again in the second sentence or responding to what was already previously said, you're simply going to use the word E, which is technically saying there, and replacing that place. What does this look like? Um, tu vas en France souvent? Tu vas en France souvent? Oui, j'y vais chaque année. J'y vais chaque année. So, analyzing this sentence, tu vas en France, so en France, that's a place, right? France is a place, come on. Um, and so now when you're responding, you're saying, oui, j'y vais, j'y vais, I go there. So that E is technically just saying there, and that is referring to what? To France, to going to France, exactly. Another example, if you're not necessarily talking about a geographical um, location, but you're talking about a place, here would be another example of that. Uh, la prochaine fois que tu vas au supermarché, tu peux me le dire s'il te plaît? Ben oui, j'y vais la maman. Tu veux venir? Ah, tu y vas la maman? Parfait. D'accord. So here, in this little scenario, what you've done is you said, Hey, next time you go to the supermarket, can you let me know? And the person may respond and say, Well, actually, I'm going right away. You want to come? I'm going there right away. And you're like, Oh, you're going there. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll come. So again, that E is really used to replace a place. So that would be the first use. The second use is to replace something that was previously said yep. in another sentence that was introduced by A, avec l'accent, with the accent. So in the first sentence, you might have had a verb that had that little A, right? you know, next to it. And if you're confused about that use with some of the verbs that have I, you're going to want to watch this video next. But what you want to do is you want to pay attention to that little a uh, and then the words that go right next to that. And then if you're using this little section that you want to replace, you could use it with e just to replace that thought. If this is confusing, I'm going to explain it a little bit more in simple terms cool. by giving you an example. Par exemple, Tu penses à ton avenir? Tu penses à ton avenir? Oui, j'y pense. Oui, j'y pense. So, analyzing the sentence, hey, do you think about your future? So, in English, you could use the at or about. But you're saying, do you think about your future? And so, in the verb, you say penser à, hein, to think about something. Penser à quelque chose, penser à quelque chose, think about something. Well, then you're using that entire little segment and you're replacing it by E. Oui, j'y pense. So that E is saying, yes, I'm thinking about it. Now I'm going to give you a couple pointers, not only on how you should use it, but where it's placed in the sentence. If you've learned something out of this lesson so far, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So first of all, what type of speech is it? Students ask me, hey, what part of grammar is this? Well, first of all, the question I have is, is it important? It is not. As long as you can use it, it doesn't matter if you know the term. That E can be used as complément circonstanciel de lieu, so as like a compliment to replace a place. 
or a complement d'objet indirect or that indirect object pronoun complement so to speak meaning it's replacing that segment the thing that you might have noticed in the sentences is that weird word order that's different than in English so in these sentences notice the word order j'y vais tout de suite j'y pense so notice you have your pronouns or subject, okay? Then you're going to have that complement or that pronoun, i, and then you're going to have the verb. So the order is subject, i, verb. Sujet, i, verb. That's, for most sentences, that's how you're going to have it put. If you want to know where that would vary with other tenses and other forms, Comment below and I will do a video that's very detailed on the word order and using E properly. But basic sentence, you're going to have it where it's subject, E, and verb. If you're a visual learner, write that down on an index card. If you're an auditory learner, make sure that you're repeating it several times. And if you're kinesthetic or tactile, you better be writing examples on how this actually applies into a sentence. Katerina, I hope that this lesson was useful to you and that you learned how to properly use E. A bientôt tout le monde.